Tonight, we begin with the story of a mother and her son and how one family's tragedy turned into a calling to help others. After her son died of sudden cardiac arrest, Sharon Bates made it her mission to do everything possible to prevent more of these deaths. According to the American Heart Association, over 350,000 sudden cardiac arrests occur each year in the U.S. and almost 90% of them are fatal. This can strike people both young and old, but some basic screenings can help. I've got AEDs. <laughs> they are machines used for heart screenings and in some cases heart saving. There's too many cords. She's not wrong. And all of those cords connected to these machines. Perhaps among them the very machine that could have saved her son Anthony's life. He passed away at age 20 to sudden cardiac arrest. Something Sharon Bates later learned could have been prevented by a simple heart screening. You don't necessarily want to shut yourself off from the world when a tragedy happens. She hasn't. Instead, Sharon created the Anthony Bates Foundation to bring heart screening events to communities to detect possible heart problems before they happen. With it, she's been able to save others. It's been a a labor of love for Anthony, for those kids I don't even know, the ones that we did save that now are my friends on Facebook. <laughs> you know. Today, hearts are being tested at Red Mountain High School. And just relax for me, take some nice deep breaths. All of the people here are volunteers, many of them students. Sharon can't thank them enough. It is everything, it keeps us going. We can't do this without our villagers. I'm going to place some stickers on you, on your chest and on your abdomen. It takes a village to save a life. And without those villagers, we wouldn't be able to save a life. So we're here with our villagers and my pitchfork. <laughs> electrode four, electrode five. Volunteers and parents alike know the importance of the screenings. One of my best friends, her dad passed away from a heart problem recently. And it's kind of made us all reevaluate our own health and like how much we really know about ourselves. And I think preventative screenings are a really important part of that. When you have the opportunity to just find out or to get that information, I don't think it hurts. Sharon Bates has inspired other parents to also step in. Parents like Jewel Upshaw, whose son's heart stopped while on the basketball court. He collapsed and they um, were not able to revive him. Since that, I have, it's my mission to spread awareness and uh, possibly save lives just like Ms. Bates is doing here. 45,000 lives saved because of Anthony. You don't get 45,000 Christmas cards, <laughs> but what you do get is the knowledge to know that you've made a difference. Sharon's foundation has offered heart screenings, including echocardiograms and EKG testing across the country since 2002. The foundation will hold its next community heart screening event December 7th at Diamond Canyon School. And you can find more info on that and the foundation itself at anthonybates.org. Live in the studio, Jennifer Alvarez, Cronkite News.